Welcome back to my channel, everyone. So um, we continue to expand as uh, you know uh, the uh, Yemeni Nestorian uh, dynasty. It's it's been quite a kind of surprising uh, push forward. I mean, we captured two of the major holy cities of uh, Islam, and I think in this run, it's going to be it's going to get things are going to get really dangerous for us because problem now is that we definitely aggravated um we've, we've actually started to aggravate the uh, uh the abbasids and that means that they could possibly call for a religious holy war on us like a great holy war uh and uh which means that they can actually sweep an entire kingdom and so i don't know how long this this thing is gonna last uh this game is gonna last i'm gonna keep playing till you know the end and we'll see but it's you know it might end in a kind of uh, utter failure but at least you know we got here right that's the important thing so um we got some decent alliances in you know Hayastan or armenia abyssinia and uh, dathina here uh so we got you know we got ourselves some you know solid alliances and then the nestorian faith is beginning to uh you know spread across the across the area so we're we're currently doing very well but again like i said we can easily get crushed and that's that's kind of my fear here is that you know we're gonna get uh decimated eventually so we need to act swiftly before anything and i think one of the most worrisome things right now is that the abbasids are allied with the tulanids so i'm thinking maybe we can try to get rid of that perhaps with a possible murder now i'm not sure if that's going to succeed we got people who are willing to kill him you know the abbasid caliph so i think that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna you know i'm gonna have to take that risk throw in some money and see like, i i want to see kind of kind of less um high-end figures or you know high profile figures pay them for this assassination see if we can get this guy killed and then that would mean that the alliance that is currently secured between the Abbasids and the Tulunids would fall apart, and then maybe I can attack them again in a in a uh, in another you know ducal uh, war, right? So we're pu successfully pushing them out of uh, out of the Arabian Peninsula. So let's see what's going to happen here. We're bribing people. We're finding people who would be interested in killing him. And again, we're wasting a lot of money, so it could be this could be you know really stupid or it can prove useless we're at 95 percent, so hopefully that's gonna work if i can manage and if i successfully kill him i ruin that alliance um you know then i can eventually um attack him again so that's that's again my fear here um and uh i'm, I'm a little bit worried about that but I, again right now so far we're we're doing well the tulanids are kind of you know they're they're worrisome right so again we got some solid alliances i'm just a little bit worried about the great holy wars and uh we'll see how that's gonna go so what is hayastan doing are they defending yeah they're defending what it's a county. I'm not sure it's going to be worthwhile going all the way to Armenia uh, to save that county. So I'm probably just going to stick around here for now because I need to. I don't want to deplete my forces or anything. Are we still allied with Abyssinia? Great, we are. And uh, let me see if we can secure any alliances for from our daughter. Right. So Count Suenik is Armenian. Sure. Uh, what about my other son? I'll wait. I'll wait a little bit because I don't want to waste those potential alliances when I can put them on something kind of crazy, you know, good, useful, right? So, um, okay, so we're still at 90, 95%, seven months away. Hopefully, if he dies, that will cause a crisis somehow. Look at this, by the way. Uh, the kid is, you know, two years old, so 
and it's gonna cause some kind of problems, internal problems for sure. We're two years away from the truce breaking with them, and I think we're gonna go for we're gonna go for it. More duchy wars. I think I'm gonna go for Jordan this time, and then get closer to, uh, you know, the Holy Land. In fact, if I can get Jordan, I might. If I get its kingdom Holy War, then I might go for Syria. A lot of development areas, a good development or developed areas there. And then closer to, well, actually, in fact, I'll be in the Mediterranean, right? So literally, we created this kind of strip. And then maybe I can ally with powerful Christian uh, forces. So, I mean, I've been wanting an alliance with these guys for a while. I don't see it coming anytime soon. I think he refuses. Let's try to sway him. Try to sway him. You know, if it works, then we can start, you know. You know, we can we can go to wars with the uh Do it. Please die. He's dead. And so now their alliances are done. And uh we can do a Cassis, we can do a, you know, a Cassis Belly, uh, a Dutchy Cassis Belly against this guy, so let's do that. Should I call Abyssinia? I think I will. Just because a call to war. You know why? I think it might be worth it because let's just say he starts calling allies they start getting allies and stuff like that which is very possible and, it, and we are calling a religious holy war we'll have at least the abyssinians on our side here so i know it's a lot of prestige to lose but all in the name of expansion i don't think there's anything wrong with that so uh okay let's let's basically continue this war and now, oh, the crusade for Jerusalem. What a timely, what a timely attack. What a timely attack right now. This is perfect. I was a little bit worried about a holy war against me, you know, being called by the caliph, but that's not happening anytime soon. The Tulanids are not coming to their help, although they are the same religion and I'm fighting in a holy war. So I'm surprised they're not coming to, you know, Okay, my guy was sick anyways. Okay, so I always kind of panic when I get a new ruler. I'm like, oh my god, is it is you know, am I gonna have to face a, a civil war? Probably. Uh, okay, let's see, a sign. Alright, so stewardship, that's perfect. He's already investing in that. Hmm. Organized, okay. Organized muster rolls. So what it is the faction against? Ooh, wow. Wow, why, why is it this much? Okay, I think this is a kind of exaggeration here. Okay, why are they uh, infinitely more powerful than we are? <laughs> okay, should fuelize tribal holdings. Yeah, sure, we'll do that. Here. Take that. And then what else? Wow, what in the world is going on? Okay. Did he have to die right now? <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, wow. Okay, great. I, I, I got a little bit concerned for a little while, but makes sense now. Uh, the siblings. I'm sorry, but I might actually have to. She's way too young. No, I can't do that, though. Who would be? Okay, who's my player heir? Hmm. 
there aren't that many people for oh we have people from our dynasty I'll let them lower the crown authority if that means avoiding a civil war it's not the the, the best time for that right now although we can technically you know we can scare them off with a bunch of executions yeah, this guy's worth 10 ducats. Yeah, we can start building some dread. You know, maybe incentives to leave the factions against me. If you guys want seats on councils, they're quite ambitious. Maybe we can satisfy this guy's demands. Uh, I'll, I'll fix that later, but let me just, you know, see what we can do here. How powerful are these guys? They're pretty powerful. Okay, so we're going to be... I think we're going to be good here. Should I call upon him? No. I hope this ruler doesn't die young. Right? So... What are the Abyssinians doing? Oh, there are the Abysses. They're coming. I really like their armor, by the way. Okay. I think we can catch them in the desert here. Now they're at war too. Don't forget they're facing a, a heavy crusade. This is going to be, we, maybe we can establish some good relations with the crusaders. And we can, in fact, even though they consider us heretical, we can do marriages with them. So, I mean, politics was never this rigid, right? People did kind of switch their, I know the Catholic world doesn't like us, but people did switch their alliances and, you know, their view, religion, you know, their views on other beliefs when, uh, doctrine was uh, in the way of you know efficient um and, and practical uh you know ties so uh, they might as well i think i think we'll be fine even though we're a different kind of creed and you know they consider us heretical we'll be fine okay so what are the byzantines up to okay he's not liking us as much so i guess we don't have anyone to marry anyways we need kids of our own. Perfect. That's a victory. What are the Abyssinians doing anyways? Okay, so that faction is definitely... I mean, I could shut them up. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of conflicted on this. I am really conflicted. Um, I could appease these guys. Sheikh Sadiq of. Okay, let me see what I can do here. These guys are. 32. I can give them this guy. That gives them a bit more levies. Now I can put this guy, he's good militarily, in fact, I can put him on my council and I can maybe send him a gift. No, in fact, I don't want to do that because sometimes they just never leave. And then maybe give him more, actually, actually give him, transfer these vassals to him, right? Um, that way it's going to significantly weaken this this group, so... No, it's not gonna work like that. 
No, I don't think, you know, I think we might have to make that concession. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to go uh, low crown authority, but it's okay. I mean, it's I'm in the middle of a war with the Abbasids right now. I don't want to risk it. Yeah, I guess I have no choice. You do spend a lot of prestige. I mean, look, we have allies and stuff like that, but I'm in the middle of a war. Okay, now that is the annoying part. That is, these guys, I definitely won't accept anything that they ask me because, first of all, this guy should be a member of our faith. And uh, I will not bargain with you. I, I want an excuse to arrest him. Okay. So now you get like some really annoying guys too. Uh, they're 15 months away, right? And they're probably going to get really, really annoying too. So uh, let's see what we can do with Abyssinia here. Is there a chance to find like, you know, is there any sort of alliance that we can have? No, nothing. So we're probably going to rely on Mercs. I can ransom. Who can I ransom? Her? Sure. We're going to go to a civil war, it seems like, in 11 months, yeah. And what about this guy, Demand Conversion? No. Who are these guys? Okay. Army of Samarkand. Okay, so what's going on here? Man, okay. Why did they go all the way there? Alright. Hey, things are getting a little bit complicated. We'll be fine though. But we need, we need alliances ASAP. Just because, who can I marry? I can negotiate an alliance with Prince of Vicar. I mean, that's nothing, but we can transfer. We don't have the Archbishop on our side. So that's an issue here. It's an additional strain on us. Okay, again, look, we might, we might have to go into a civil war. Now the Abyssinians are fighting the Crusaders. <laughs> it's okay. I think I'm gonna kind of deploy my my army here in this area. Just kind of maybe wait a little bit. The Abysses are com getting completely crushed. What? How are they winning? Oh. Okay. So, they're going to declare independence at any moment now. They couldn't have waited for a worse time. You know what, let me attack these guys. I will not be threatened. So now, obviously, now the Crusades ended, unfortunately, because those were convenient times for us. Let me call upon uh, my Armenian ally here. Maybe he can be useful. Don't have any good martial uh, rulers here or figures we can hire. Okay. 
I mean, look, the capital of the rebels is here, so it's not far away. Um, oh boy. We're in a bit of a, a difficult situation here. Time to hire some mercenaries. It's uh, ultimately what I wanted to avoid, but... The Abbasids, the Abbasids brought in some good allies too. We might have to abandon this war. Okay, so where, where are my allies? How far away are they? Okay, they're making their way down here. And again, I'm not endorsed by my Archbishop, so... What if I hired mercenaries right now? These guys here. And I went on the attack and I decimated these guys. And we have a good commander. Pretty decent commander. What would happen there? That's what would happen. Perfect. So, pray that this works out, you know? Then we got these guys here. You know, I mean, I think I'm going to call on uh, the Armenian king to help me in that war as well. So I know it's, again, it's wasting prestige. But we got only a kind of, we've, we don't have, you know, we went so far into that war. You see now we lost that war score. So it's kind of stupid. But hopefully we can win this one at least, the civil war. Because everything that we went for right now would would kind of fall apart after all this effort, right? So where are they? Where are they? Okay, so they're smart to go into the mountain tops. Now these guys are defending against. They're in their own war now, so. go back here boy has this county proven to be really really tough to govern huh again not historically inaccurate either okay, the Abbasids are gaining back their territory they're saying white peace we're gonna say no because we still have a chance of, of winning right and now that we're probably gonna win this civil war too so Things will change here, I think. I believe, you know, I'm confident to say that they will probably change. Okay, so, and then we're going to send our army up north to Tabuk. Perfect, we won that war. So centralization. Put these guys in prison. I'll deal with them later. Okay, now my aim is to deal with these guys for the time being. Know your place, okay. <laughs> yeah, I like that icon, by the way. Perfect. Perfect. It looks like we're even going to win the, uh, the war against the Abbasids, too. That was really well executed. I thought I was going to lose at least one. I would have obviously rather lost the uh, the offensive war because I just you don't gain, right? So... But no, in, instead we got that, so what, why not, right? So and look how many people we can ransom. I mean, look, this guy, absolutely not. We can't revoke his title, though. Because we lost that crown authority. I, I'll see what I'll do with that. But for the time being, let me just finish off the uh, the Abbasids. Where, is, where are the Armenians? They're in another war. So that was... You know what I hate sometimes is that you call upon allies, you risk it, you lose that prestige, and then they don't end up coming. You just wasted that. And I could have done that single-handedly, or at least with the Abyssinian allies. So, you know what's crazy is that her dad is kind of on the brink of dying anyways. Okay, we're going to attack them soon.
Now, who wants to fight again? Okay, mercenaries are about to expire. It's not that big of a deal. The Abbasids, what's going on with that? <laughs> they're, they're, they're effectively done, though. I think after this, I'm kind of going to tone things down a little bit, okay? Yeah, we need prestige. We definitely need prestige for things that we're going to probably do. Um, I'm going to demand her to convert. But once her dad dies, I think she's going to be useless, and I think we might have to break up. But maybe she can bear us some children. Okay, we beat... We beat the abysses again. So let's dismantle this. And see, check out the situation here. So hey, ask this guy to convert. No, ask these guys to convert. Are they going to convert? Sure, he says yeah. What about this guy? Are you going to convert? Perfect, they are converting. Would you like to convert? He's probably going to say no. And then that will be reason to attack him. Oh, in fact, no, he did. Okay, so look at that. Nestorianism is beginning to spread in the realm. So I think uh, and next, you know, we might go for the kingdom of Jerusalem for real. Like, why not, right? In Kingdom of Jerusalem would be a very prestigious kingdom to have, and then we can go, or we can continue. We can take one more, uh, you know, duchy here, and then maybe take Kingdom of Syria, but that's not anytime soon. Okay, so let's uh, ransom. Of course. I'm keeping this guy in prison. Keep these guys in prison for the time being, except for this guy, because he is he is an historian, and I think he can be appeased easier. So, again, look at that, look at that. Where, what shall we rule from, though? That's the question. Um, I'm still ruling from Socotra, by the way, <laughs> which is funny. It doesn't make sense. An island is kind of governing a whole, almost like half a peninsula. Um, okay, I'll be lenient. I don't feel like fighting right now. Eventually, how many years do we need? We need 11 years. I might increase the crown later on. Is she ever going to get pregnant? Okay. All right, so look at that. The Abbasids are terribly weak, and you know they're losing a lot of territory too. And, you know we're present in the Gulf as well. The Safarids are much stronger than them, and you know we're not. There isn't too much animosity here. Popular figurehead. How are these guys doing? Oh, they're in an internal rebellion too. You know, maybe eventually we can capture uh, the kingdom of Egypt. Okay, the wife is pregnant. Her, that's her dad, by the way. He's my father-in-law. Um... Hopefully she can bear us a son. Okay, so... Again, this is much more significant than I ever thought it would be. I should start playing tall. The thing is, I don't have much money. No. I can't believe I'm surprised that the... Uh, that that... That uh, 
crusade failed so miserably. I mean, it, it looked really promising at one point. Nicholas. Okay, perfect. Let's see. Who can we get an alliance with? The Rata Kingdom. Kingdom. Okay, you know what? The High Chiefdom of Al. Closer. Culturally more, I mean, more or less. More, uh, you know, uh, similar to us. So, uh, you know, we got our alliances here. When is this done? Nine In three years, we can perhaps even attack. Don't tell me my kid is sickly. He was just born. Ah. Uh, severe penalty okay hopefully he makes th he he makes it you know he makes it alive but so that's good and so now they want this no i'd rather i i'd rather keep you guys in prison for now because if i can get that high crown authority i'm going to actually take away uh, you know the uh, their crown in the first place. So why do they hate me so much? I mean, okay, it's because of my offensive wars. That that plays a huge role. But uh, I mean, it's the r offensive wars are the reason why we're you know we're here, right? So I'm thinking maybe I could switch Medina the capital here I think honestly yeah I think I'm gonna so our capital that is now in Medina and that's only for strategic purposes and also look these you know if when I die for example my character dies uh, you know the son will inherit this right so uh, the, the primary son because of you know partition and whatever so it's good to keep you know your favorite cities as the capital so We'll make it Medina for the time being, but obviously if I get deeper into the Arabian Empire, we're definitely going to do, you know, Baghdad or Damascus or something like that or Aleppo, right? But this is, you know, for the time being, it's really good. And religion-wise, okay, we're, I'm loving this, by the way. I'm really loving this. Okay. Just going to wait a little longer and then we're going to maybe go for another duchy war. Yeah, we'll get, you know, we'll get, you know, maybe Negev and Karak. And then afterwards, let's see, what else? Yeah, we'll just keep going in. Maybe getting into the Mediterranean would be good. I want kind of, I'm eyeing Syria right now, right? It's a kind of ideal uh, setting. And so, and we are, you know, Yemenis are part of the Arabian, you know, larger cultural group. So if you reel over Mashrikis, you, you should be good. They're not going to get a hefty penalty. They won't hate me as much. It's the religion thing that's going to be, uh, you know, the difficult thing. So this building obviously does not give us any, uh, the prophetic mosque, it doesn't give us any uh, benefits because of the religious difference. So it's just kind of there. But um, we need our holy sites too. Funnily enough, there's one in India, actually, and that's because I told you earlier in the first episode, the Nestorians do make it to India at a certain point. Okay, so how far away are we from another war with the Abbasids? Whoops, sorry. Gosh, are we detested. Okay, so soon. So April 929, so just, you know, over a year. Uh, I can't wait. It's going to be an interesting war. So the Abbasids have never been this weak, but they do have allies, which means, I mean, they're still considered vastly inferior considering their allies too. So, um... For me, Alwa is just perfect. How's now? How's my alliance with Armenia? It's still there. The wife, is she pregnant again? No. But, you know, hopefully she can get us a daughter now.
Okay, she's pregnant. Cool. Again. If she bears us a son, we'll just have to disinherit him. Because I think I can actually create another kingdom title uh, eventually. So very soon. So let me see. Arabia. We're, yeah, we're four away from that. So we can become the king of the Arabs as well. I don't want to risk becoming a drunkard. This guy's a pretty decent ruler. He's not amazing on the stats, but I mean, he has a good marriage. Uh, you know, uh, I mean, not. It's not like he's like worshipped by his vassals, but it's not like super terrible either. No current factions right now. Look at this. We're at 2,700 levies. We're not, you know, we're not stressed. Everything's fine. Um, the Byzantines are just. Sorry, the Abbasids are just terrible right now. They're in a terrible situation. And then maybe we can go on a pilgrimage. Maybe let's. How about we go on a pilgrimage? Right? So let's do that. Let's go to Jerusalem. It's time to depart. Maybe if we can get ourselves a kingdom. What's that? A swan. Who are these guys? You know, part of me wants to go and capture Egypt. That would be amazing. I've walked the holy path. So he's not even a devoted servant yet. I'll, I think I have to be paragon of virtue to do, yeah, to do that. So I'll just keep warring for the time being. But what, what? We have Cairo. <laughs> That's interesting. We have Cairo. That's that's amazing. <laughs> okay. I don't know how we got that, but cool. So Guys, I think this is probably one of the best games I've ever played. So we got twins. One of them will bear us. She'll, one of them shall be a uh, for the sake of matrilineal marriages, right? So uh So let's just maybe this kid, with the Greek, and then the other one, you know, we'll just do one for the sake of actual, uh, you know, a good alliance, right? But uh, Chiefdom of Gumu's regional alliances are the most important right now. How's what's the faith looking situation looking like? Okay. You're going to help me with chivalry. And you're going to convert people for me. In Khaybar. Okay. So. Again now. Wow. These guys are not catching a break. My son is no longer sickly. He's overcome that. That's amazing. And then we're going to attack. We're going to attack the Abbasids very soon. Look at that. All starting from this island right here, and we're all the way in here. So, okay. Ready for another war. He's considered vastly inferior. And again, that's accounting for his, uh, the current amount of, uh, you know, uh, the current amount of, uh, vassals that he uh, pardon me allies that he has right so i'm thinking right now there are multiple routes i can go i can maybe you know continue pushing into the arabian peninsula clear that up or i can take the major provinces um and either way it's going to serve me well now the thing is like i said before we do control a lot of islamic holy sites or two of them and that can lead us into a major problem. So I think, you know, I think I'm going to stick her. I'm going to stick to, uh, uh, you know, fighting in, in Syria right now. I think because if I can get that, I'm going to basically have, you know, a huge portion of the Mediterranean and more contact with the Europeans, right? So that's an important kind of progress that we're making.
So let's do it then. But th then again, I'm thinking, um, you know, Arabian Peninsula, though, would get us the de jure territory, uh, territories for an Arabian, uh, you know, uh, kingdom. So that would be a second kingdom. I mean, that can always come later, right? Okay, all right, so I think I made up my mind. Sorry about that. I've been kind of indecisive, and I made up my mind we're going to go into, uh, you know, Jordan, and, uh, you know, and then basically we're going to have... Ah, uh, but still, then we would have to capture the kingdom of Jerusalem. Anyways, we'll see. I was thinking Syria, but all right, we can do, we can do Jerusalem too. That's a... That's a very prestigious kingdom. I mean, we get a Christian holy site too. All right. Should I call my allies? Um, how's she faring? Okay. What about this guy? He would cost me 350 prestige. I'm not fond of wasting that. She's only 150. I'm going to send, I'm going to ask her. And she's also closer too. Uh, no, not, I mean, they're kind of fairly the same. In fact, he might be further, a little bit further. Uh, okay, so let's do this. Let's do this. We're literally, you know, uh, now we're entering kind of the more Mediterranean region, right? So this is, in fact, the funny thing is, is that um, the uh, Arab conquests here. Um, no, I'm breaking this betrothal. I'm sorry, but uh, my sister can marry someone more relevant I think so who are these guys okay I'll leave her single for now but okay anyways uh, it's funny because the kind of conquests that we're doing now were when the Ar Arabian or you know the Arabian tribes coming out of the Arabian Peninsula when they had newly you know the newly founded Islamic uh, dynasties had entered uh, you know the Levant uh, came through that route. So I'm kind of technically doing the same thing, except now I'm bringing Christianity back. So that's a super kind of interesting alternative history here. Um, okay, perfect. So my allies are here. They've showed up. Got to watch out for attrition here. These are still kind of, you know, dry lands and they want a white piece, of course. And I think that's because, look at this, they've... They're fighting on so many fronts. Who's waging a holy war? The Greek Orthodox here. This is perfect. Probably going to go for... Part of me wants to also go for Egypt. Such a high development area too. You know? Um, you know, the Egyptian kingdom. Right? So that's going to be my you know, Arab empire, right? That I was thinking about. So we're going to be architect. And then let's see here. Look at that. Their stupidity here again is that they abandoned their, um, the siege that they were doing. We're always going to get raided here. Uh, that's kind of part of being in this area. So the wife is pregnant again, like I said. I don't see the Abbasids coming, you know, to our attack anytime soon. How's, you know, how's the religious situation going on? Religion situation. Okay, good. Uh, are we depleting? Yeah. Okay. But we still have supplies, so it's not terrible. Another daughter. Pretty blessed. Here, I don't want too many sons. Republic of Mahara. Maybe this will sh maybe this will shut this guy up. What if I do a matrilineal marriage though? Would he still marry? No. Okay, maybe we'll use that opportunity to you know, kind of pull this guy out of any potential faction. Sometimes you got to do that. Okay, so we formed an internal alliance with one of our vassals. That means that he'll never uh, you know, he'll never 
try to wage war against you. So he can't. He can't be in a uh, coalition. Or I keep saying coalition. He can never be in a um, in a faction against you. That's what I meant to say. How's this guy doing? Sure. You know what? You'll come out. I'll ask you to convert later. He doesn't hate me that much, so I'm like, whatever. I'll make 50 ducats. She's pregnant again. Her dad died. Which means that uh, I'm going to divorce her, probably. She's a content atheist, too. I should be able to request a uh, divorce from that. Let's see what she bears us first. I mean, then again, we have a lot of sons at this point, so... You know the sons can. Uh, pardon me. We have. We if we get another son, that would we can use that son to marry. Uh, you know, into an alliance again. So maybe it's maybe it's not the time to divorce right now. So domestic affairs efficacy. Yeah, that's really important. Efficiency. All right. Okay. So let's. Uh, Attack these guys before they take over. Another daughter. Oh my god. Okay, at least another son. I was just saying how I'm like, you know, I want I want daughters, I want I want sons now, and then uh, <laughs> it's not actually happening. Okay, so perfect. That's eighty percent here. Let's go maybe to Idbid. Let's go to it a bit. Who wants... Oh, no. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. I thought you were all better than that. <laughs> okay, let's see. Maybe if we can... Imprison this guy. Okay, we'll, we'll wait and see. Hold on. I mean, I got... I have prisoners here. I can just execute them. How far away are they? 22 months. Maybe they'll begin to reconsider. I mean, look, we can... You know, we can give this guy a vassal, right? One of those vassals. Okay, he's a little bit more content now. Now we weaken that faction. Okay. Now let's see if they're willing to stay in that coalition. 27 months. We bought ourselves some time. Uh, hopefully, if we catch Itabid, things will change. And of course, they're, they're, these guys are really fr frustrated because they're being constantly used for... Okay, that faction's done. They're being constantly... You know, their troops are kind of being depleted because of our levies, right? They're, we're always asking for them to, you know, supply levies because of wars, right? So they obviously get frustrated. That's the whole concept here. So let's speed things up a little. Another faction. Okay, they're they found someone else. This guy really is really getting on my nerves. I'll give him another person. How about you take this guy, Sheikh Nizam al Akraf? Okay. Just, all right. So I hope he can kind of now get out of these factions. Eventually, honestly, he, he he's he's relentless though. So we won against the the Abbasids again. We, mind you, we haven't lost a single war against the Abbasids. So that's a pretty big achievement, right? Considering we started off as Socotra. I think eventually, should I demand him to convert? I mean, let's see what these guys are doing. Too weak to send an ultimatum. I hope so. Okay, so we're getting we're getting close to three thousand now. Okay. The Abbasids are technically done for.
Who's attacking them? Okay, none of our vassals. <laughs> what happened there? So we can go in, in another war again. We can wage another war. But uh, it can't be a uh, holy war for the kingdom of Jerusalem just because we don't have that uh, luxury just yet. We're not even close to being... We're not even close to being uh, uh, the... Uh, uh, you know, uh, paragons of virtue, so we have to wait a little bit. Now, when would I be able to change the crown? Perfect, next year. Speed things up a little. Now, let's see if we can build something here, you know. Um, just increase our, maybe our garrisons, no. Levies, number of knights, light cavalry damage, something perhaps that can give us some 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 kind of benefit here small hill forts construct new building maybe pas pastoral lands try to increase as much money as we can you know um, and then eventually when I start making a lot of money I'm gonna start using that on meta arms Oh, I should have gone here actually. In fact, I'll I'll fix that later. We're nearing 3000. Chancellor. Okay, I think I think we're good. I mean, we can attack these guys. In the meantime, or should I go? I think maybe we should go for the Abbasids one more time. I think we should keep focusing on the Abbasids. Maybe take Jerusalem. Again, that might aggravate the Muslim world, but I think this is huge, right? This is one of our holy sites. And so far as the uh, the dynasty is concerned, you know, the, the, because it's a Christian dynasty. So, let's maybe make use of some allies right now. Okay, so they're sieging. The Abbasids are totally, like I said, they're totally done for. Now, the Byzantines are starting to expand in Syria. That's not good because I want that to be my kingdom. But it's okay. We can capture Jerusalem. That gives us 13%. And now we attack their troops here. Alright. Oh, that's a... Uh, we wiped them out in one battle. So this is kind of our entrance into the Mediterranean, by the way. Okay, who... 31 months. Honestly, I kind of dare them. I have all all these alliances. I can easily crush them. I wouldn't mess with me right now if I were them, but I kind of want them to go into a, a, a holy war against, a, an independence war against me. I kind of dare them to do it. Now we increased our crown authority. They're probably bound to you know, start a new faction. And like I said, who is this person? It's just everyone wants a kind of slice of the pie. Uh, but we won't let that happen, right? So, I think, honestly, the war that I'm going to use a kingdom, kind of, uh, Cassus Valley for, would be uh, for Egypt. Egypt is so rich in terms of its provinces and everything. I can move my capital there. Oh, whoops. I accidentally didn't go to war because I'm on. That's bound to cost me. Or maybe not. All right. Yes, I'll go to war, sure. Don't want to lose any prestige or fame or anything or imp piety. That's the last thing I want right now because, again, I want to keep this character 
He's 47. He's relatively young. He has some so many good alliances. I want to keep him for the time being. All right. So let's uh, enforce the demands. So be it. Should I turn Jerusalem into the capital? Maybe. Honestly, maybe. So we have Jerusalem now. And let's see what that means insofar as a holy site. Monthly piety plus 20%. That increases the county conversion speed, which is already, I think, at a high, given that, um, you know, we are have mendicant preachers as uh, plus 33 as this group, right? As the uh, Nestorians. So, okay, so now we have Jerusalem. So that was our little mini crusade. Now, why are we losing money? My army isn't raised. Let's see. But I don't have a raised army. Or do I? Oh, they are here. Never mind. Yeah, I was wondering. I was kind of a little bit confused. Because I didn't get the uh, disband thing. Oh, you guys better. I dare you to start this. Because I'm going to kind of strip you all of your money. And uh, let's see. Not of your money, but your uh, your territory. So uh, that that'll probably be a reason to, you know, s kind of scrap this kingdom and kind of revoke their titles. Okay. I don't care about appeasing to anybody right now. Twenty-two months. So be it. We'll be we'll easily be able to crush them. That's not gonna be any kind of difficult task for us. Oh, so we captured this guy. That's awesome. Should we ransom him for a hundred ducats? Absolutely. Okay. And he pays me that much money, so Look at that. Okay. We got raiders here. Let's take care of them. And they notice that we're on our way. So they change. Oh, no. They're still raiding around this area. So it'd be funny if I start clashing with the Byzantines eventually. What if we negotiated? Can I negotiate an alliance? No, I don't think I can. Okay, I'm going to attack these guys. And Jerusalem is on the verge of converting. So let's disband our armies. Okay. This faction is... Now it's a liberty faction. Honestly... I kind of expect that to happen, but uh, I'll take care of them again too. I, I this time I'm not gonna let them, you know, get away with it. So devoted servant, maybe we can go on a pilgrimage in a few years. How many years? How many months? Okay, twenty months away from a civil war. And look at that. If we can't, we're somehow not getting any sons. High Chiefdom of Alwa. Yeah, let's do that. Keep these ties going. Who are these guys? Okay, they're also... Wow. They're related. Okay, so it's starting to kind of, the map is starting to look really gory and it's a little bit ugly, but, you know, hopefully I'm going to cons consolidate and make it look kind of more consistent, you know, give it more consistent borders. But uh, honestly, I think at this point, I've completed a lot of, you know, a lot of my kind of ambitions in this run. And... Um, 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop it for now and come back with more content. That way I'll let you know folks watching this be able to digest uh, the material because it's you know a lot has happened in each episode so far, and so uh, I'll come back with more content. And I think the next aim is actually. Um, a full kind of control over the Arabian Peninsula and declaring myself the emperor, uh, you know, the emperor of the Arabs. But that means usurpation is going to have to happen. And um, basically, you cannot usurp a title from someone who considers your faith to be hostile or worth worse while they control any of its de jure lands. We're going to have to take away the lands from them. And we will. I mean, we're going to strip them from that land and we're going to basically, you know, seize that, that opportunity so um you know i want to thank everybody who's been watching so far for watching thank you so much uh you're uh you know you've you've been quite attentive and i really you know enjoy the feedback i've been getting i hope you enjoy this content it's a lot of uh you know it's it's been one of my favorite runs actually so far um i didn't honestly expect it to go this way it's definitely better than I ever thought I would. It would be. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, you know, stay tuned for more episodes. Take care.